Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 11th, 2023. Well, guys, I've been having some trouble, technical trouble, getting videos loaded to YouTube. I honestly don't know what the problem is, and I've been working through different scenarios trying to fix the problem. So hopefully this video will be out this morning. I apologize for the delay that you've missed a couple of videos. Hopefully we'll get that corrected and up on the YouTube channel this morning. So with that said, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, as you can see, we've been moving in this upside move here in diamonds and we're still holding on to that. So we've got to give that to the bulls. They're hanging in there pretty darn good. And that possibility that we've got this higher low coming into play here could be a really good sign for the market. Now, at the same time, while that's going on, we have this downside in here and doggone it, we keep struggling with that downside here in the market and just can't seem to um, figure out how to find enough momentum to push on through that level. Because on this rally back, we've been seeing significant fall off in momentum. We just haven't had enough energy here to get things going. If you can look right here, we can see our volume has been dropping to the downside. So what we need to see is if you're a bull in here, we need to see enough of that bullishness that we can push up through these levels here in the chart. We might get that this week. There's some data certainly coming out that could inspire us higher could also inspire us lower. So looking in here, we've got this kind of that 50-50 chance in here where we could break this resistance here to the upside, this trend, we could break this one to the downside. And just keep in mind, there is that possibility that we could linger, continue to linger in this range, um, assuming that uh, momentum for the bulls or the bears just doesn't pick up. Now let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. SPY also in a pretty decent position here holding this higher low in the chart. So and you'll notice in here we held that higher low, we held that support level here in the chart, found those buyers, picked it up, but unfortunately we still have this situation going on as well. So we have that downtrending move in here in the chart that we still need to break through. Clearly there's some resistance above in the chart. We need to see that inspiration for us to get moving and break one of these levels. Again, we run that risk that, well, about half of it, half 50% chance of breaking through that top side, 50% chance breaking through that downside. And it really is going to be data dependent. Now, I just realized one of the things I forgot is to talk about, well, what happens if the bulls and bears here on the diamonds get uh, some influence? And if you, as you can see here, if the bulls were to find um, some upside opportunity in here, find some inspiration, then we might test up here first. Notice if you look across here, we have these three really big candles in here that could provide a little bit of resistance for a period of time. So watch that there. If you take a look right across up here would be the next level of price resistance if they could really get going to the upside. Now, of course, to the downside, we you can see my drawings on here. This upside trend, of course, will provide some price support price support right in here in the chart, as you can see. And if we were to um, fail through there, then I suspect a retest down in here, last week's lows, could be a possibility if we were to uh, drop into there. Then um, back over to the SPY, as you can see here in the SPY, if the bulls were to find inspiration, I've already got it marked right up in here, probably a test up in there first. If they can push through that, well then I would suggest we're coming up into this area of the chart, seeing whether or not we can break that downtrend and break through um, 
all of this uh, this toppiness that we see in here so if we can break through there i'm thinking there's a chance we can make new highs in the market if we were to see some bearishness here and push on back down well you can certainly see price support here in the chart fairly clear a push back into here and hold we're probably okay a fail of there we're likely coming back down into this level of price support take a look at the NASDAQ. Our NASDAQ right now, if you were to ask me which is the strongest of the indexes, I'm probably going to say the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ right now, you can see we're above our 50 day moving average. If I look at the SPY, boy, we're trying to pump that above that this morning, but we've had a couple of closes below the 50 day and you can see the diamonds still below its 50 day um, here this morning, even with this gap up that we're looking at. So we've got some work here to do to get those indexes moving. But with the QQQ up there, I'm going to put this at the strongest of the indexes. And if you take a look across here, certainly we have an upside trend. We've got this second higher low that's come in. We did cross back above this resistance in the chart, but unfortunately we didn't hold it very well on Friday. As a matter of fact, we left a bit of a shooting star. And if I draw this out, you can see that we broke that uh, downtrend here in the chart um, early on on Friday, and then we ended up giving it up, coming down and leaving a shooting star, which doesn't raise a whole lot of confidence just yet. Again, it's that momentum problem that we're seeing in the market. But if those bears were to find inspiration here, you could see they could push that down through uh, that accumulation of um, support, that would be a problem for the market and probably bring in a little bit of fear. And we've got a little bit of price support in here for that next level. And if that were to fail, of course, down into here. However, if the bulls were to find inspiration here and hold on this accumulated support area in the chart, then what we'll want to watch for is that next level higher. And I think maybe up into that big candle right in here, might be a pretty good level to be watching for initially if we can pop through that we're coming up in here to see if we can test this high in the chart and officially um, show us that this uh, bull trend is in force if we break that high so watch that closely now our IWM here IWM still struggling here in the market clearly well below its 50-day moving average as a matter of fact we're just barely hovering over that 200 day and when you have a moving average like the 200 day there it's not uncommon that we could test that before we bounce on higher so watch that carefully although we're trying to pump up here this morning you'll want to watch that pretty carefully if we were to drop through here testing that 50-day moving average whoops i drew that a little bit high uh, that 50-day moving average just right down here on these lows if we can hold that area then of course we have some upside opportunity if they were to fail through that area i would suggest tails down here that we've seen recently would be tested in the chart again if that fails well look out below it could be a rough move to the downside if that were the case possibly even coming down in the there now if we look at the bullish side of this you can see we've got a little bit of price resistance right in here so pushing up one of the first levels we need to get through is get through this little price resistance in here to see if we can pop on through up into those upper areas and if we can break up through there then i would suggest there is that possibility we could come up into here unfortunately that still leaves us in a downtrend here in the chart and still leaves us below the 50-day moving average so yeah keep a close eye on iwm if you were to take a look at our vix now the vix has been su suggesting that there is no fear even though we have had a very light trade here in the market just seems to be a lack of commitment overall but you can see that the vix is showing us that there's no fear here as a matter of fact we're pushing back down toward this level of price support and if i think if we break below that we're seeing some major complacency in the market but 
watch that carefully. If the bulls uh, continue to push to the upside and say that there is no reason here not to go up, there may be some data this week that gives us that, um, that uh, warm and fuzzy here. Watch that closely. If we drop down through that level, then the bulls will definitely be in control. If for some reason those bears find reason in the data to find inspiration and they push up into here, then remember it's always a higher low that create, creates a problem for us. If we break a downtrend and then create a higher low, we've got even more trouble. But you can see how that would be a possible higher low. Breaking that downtrend and holding up here is where it uh, would get um, a little bit um, concerning for the bulls and probably embolden the bears. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 is giving us considerable hope of a relief rally. And you can see in here that we held, we held this low area, in fact, um, early on in this move to the, uh, before we started hooking up, um, intraday we were down in this area, but we popped back up and saw that relief rally coming into play. So remember T2122, uh, does not tell us which way the market's going to go. It just tells us where those pressure points are. And we've had that little bit of relief coming in here. If the bears were to find inspiration, we've certainly opened up that opportunity here to the downside. If the bulls find inspiration, well, of course, we can push on through to the upside. There's plenty of room up there for the bulls to move if we can stay inspired. If we take a look at our T2108, this is where we start to see that momentum problem. Although that we rallied um, on Friday in T2122, notice that we saw very little momentum here. On T2108, we were just pretty darn flat. Hanging in here off of this little support area in the chart, which is a good sign, but you'll want to keep in mind that we've got resistance over here in the chart to be thinking about as well. Right, up, right in there around 30% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, which doesn't give you a, a big confidence that, uh, gosh, the bulls are just really strong and ready to run to the upside. At the same time, it does tell us that we may be a little bit oversold in the short term and we should be looking for that relief rally. Our T2107, very much the same. Rather unimpressed on Friday with that uh, pushback up. You can see just barely holding on to support areas here in the chart. We still have that big head and shoulders pattern possibility in the T2107. But if the bulls can follow on through and push on up, we'll notice that we've got some resistance areas in the chart up here that we could test and see if we can break through there. Remember, pushing up here on low momentum could mean uh, to be watching for that potential rollover. And then if we take a look at T2101, T2101 is showing us a bit of that momentum problem. As we've been rallying back up our momentum, this was a sell wave, if you remember here. This is where the bears really got busy pushing us down here um, in uh, August. And if you'll take a look right over here, as we started to relief rally, we just really started to lose momentum. We couldn't push on through to the upside. So that's going to be a key element here. Do we have enough buyers? Are the, is there going to be enough momentum in here to push us higher? I think we need to see this break out up here. We need to see that momentum really coming in on the buy side to give some confidence in there to uh, push us through some of those resistance levels. And then if we see, um, taking a look at our economic calendar we've got a lot to deal with on our economic calendar this week and um, well it could be bullish or bearish depending on how those numbers come in first off you can see today virtually nothing for us to be worried about we've got some bond auctions out here and while our bond yields are still causing us a problem as a matter of fact the five-year yield this morning as i am recording this is pushing back up toward five percent we're at 4.99 so we continue to see those bond yields being problematic here for us um, worries about what the next fed move continuing to push those higher now 
with that in mind, nothing, not much here, and there's not a whole lot here. You can see we got an NFIB small business optimism on Tuesday, but then we're going to get hit hard. We're going to be thinking about this both Monday and Tuesday. What is going to happen on Thursday with that CPI report, mortgage applications, petroleum status will be in here um, as well. And then we're going to follow that up on Thursday with a PPI report that will be in there with jobless claims, retail sales numbers, business inventories are going to be in there. So toward the end of the week, we're really gonna ramp things up. And as you can see on Friday, Empire State Manufacturing, Import Exports, Industrial Production, Consumer Sentiment, all are a potential market moving event. So keep a close eye on those things this week. But for today, very light, not much information here to go on. Now, if we take a look at the earnings calendar side, kind of the same thing. There is not much going on here this morning on our earnings calendar, not too many even verified reports. And of those verified reports, there's some that just really are not going to be all that important to the market. Um, we're going to have F cell here today. You can see F cell down here at dollar fifty-seven. Not exactly a going concern here in the market. B O W L is on the list here today. Uh, very low volume stock. Just not something that um, likely going to move the market a bunch. Um, A V O will be reporting again little teeny tiny sub uh, sub ten dollar uh, trading um, low volume not the most important um, um, by far um, biox is um, a confirmed report today again uh, very low volume stock uh, very good chance not much action in here on that one uh, Casey's General Store will be reporting. Now this one's somewhat notable. Very uh, very high price stock here, looking really good. It's been in a recent downtrend. Perhaps this could be that inspiration here on earnings that we would hold that support and bounce, start bouncing higher. Um, maybe hanging on to this trend. Um, if that doesn't occur, well then look for that potential push to the downside. We got MTRX. Um, reporting um, $8 stock moving up nicely it's a very low volume stock would not be on my notable list because it does trade such light in uh, light volume but watching this up here it's been moving in a nice upside trend coming into resistance Oracle will be our most notable today later this afternoon keep an eye on Oracle this has been very very bullish stock and of course anything in the tech sector um, uh, has that extra weight just simply because it's in the tech um, sector. So watch that carefully. We're pressing 52-week uh, highs here in Oracle to see if we can punch on through and earnings today could certainly do that. Last but not least, um, Skill will be uh, reporting today. Skillsoft, um, very low volume stock, not really of interest at all. That's every single stock that's verified to report today. So you can see not a whole lot in there to really inspire the market, particularly this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And also just a big shout out to everyone who um, supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. You'll find that just below the title of the video. Thank you so much everyone for supporting the channel, for supporting this effort to try and put out unbiased information on the market and just really looking at the charts trying to look at the charts for what they are not for what you want them to be that helps an awful lot in planning your day and getting you on the right road to success in the market because we remove that emotion and we approach the market with a business mindset let's take a look at a few charts setting up remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security 
Do your own due diligence. Follow your trading rules. Never, ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Make sure you follow every trade for your own risk tolerance. First off, let's take a look at Rivian in here. Now, Rivian's been um, a real interesting chart this year. It shot up hard, uh, moving up strongly, pulling back here pretty significantly as well. And we've got this interesting pattern in here where we're holding a higher low in this chart. Now, we still have that possibility that this could be a downtrend, but I'm kind of watching this nice little tight consolidating pattern. Notice that we broke through this little downtrend here. We're pushing up here in this nice little consolidation. If we can find some buyers in here, there may be an opportunity that pushes on through to the upside. I've placed an alert on that chart just to see if that's going to break on higher now keeping in mind even if that does pop up here we'll have to consider this resistance up here but watch that closely Rivian looking pretty darn good you guys know um, I've talked about TLRY here several times TLRY little teeny tiny guy but oh my goodness did it find some love here when um, it picked up quite a few brands um, from Anheuser-Busch and you can see that's not a very straight line but you can see as we broke through here in this level in the chart very very strong in that move we've been moving up in a trend been watching this for that opportunity that that could pull back looking for that upside move to maybe come in here keep an eye on it and we're getting some bullishness here this morning on TLRY now you do want to keep in mind on a trade like this little tiny stocks like this they make big percentage moves real fast so if that moves up you feel really good about it if it moves down it can rip your face off quick so make sure you plan your trade carefully don't over trade a position like this let's take a look at a few other places boy i tell you when we look at the energy sector energy sector very very strong and this is going to be a complication for those coming or pending um, inflation numbers as we continue to see our energy prices surging to the upside there is a complication in here that energy is a big factor gas prices are a big factor in um, that calculation for inflation and you can see we're just zooming to the upside here in energy uh, just about anything that you look at as a component of xle looking good take a look at stocks like slumberjay slumberjay those uh, refiners in there breaking through resistance holding up here in this upside trend i would look for that next opportunity here the slumberjay we got valero uh, whoops let's get the right symbol valero just ripping to the upside here on friday probably needs a little rest or pullback if you'll notice we're pushing into fairly significant level of price resistance here in the chart but a rest or pullback that proves to hold that up here would set up that next upside opportunity in Valero. You can see some of the oil and gas stocks themselves like ConocoPhillips threatening a major breakout here on this big push to the upside. Been resting a few days, look for that opportunity that that could move on higher as well. On the bearish side, well, first off, let me take a look at the dollar. Look what's happening to the US dollar, really, really strong. Now this is a function of more than just what's happening here in the United States. In fact, it's a very big function of what's happening around the world. We're seeing a pretty steep weakening in the, in the Chinese Yuan, the Japanese Yen, and the ruble have weakened substantially here recently. That makes the dollar stronger, and you can see the dollar zooming up. Now with that in mind, we look at commodities and that possibility of failure in commodities. Um, now, it pains me to say this because I do hold physical gold and silver, but I see a problem potentially cropping up here in this chart. Notice we've got this downtrend going on here in GLD, and if you look closely in here, we have this heavy and shoulders pattern we've rallied back to this resistance we're struggling in here watch this closely if we were to break this down gold could be moving lower and we might break some of these areas of the chart now that would also be for you crypto traders that might be a good sign for you if gold starts breaking down 
crypto might start picking up. So watch that carefully in here in that chart. The other one is silver. If we take a look at silver, commodities struggle typically when um, and precious metals particularly struggle when the US dollar is strong. And you can see that possibility in here. We've been running in this downtrend. We're struggling right in here trying to hold on to a little bit of price support. But boy, if that were to fail through here, um, our next level down here is in the 18s. So watch that carefully if silver were to really start to roll over to the downside. You might want to be taking a look at some of the retail out here, um, which is interesting. We've got quite a mix. We've got Walmart looking very, very strong. And then we've got other retailers just looking ugly. Walmart's been picking up really strongly. They've been doing really well with the tightening of the consumer, doing really well with our grocery sales. So keep an eye on that um, breaking through 52 week highs here in Walmart. Keep a close eye on that trend is beautiful there. So with that guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And let's fingers crossed this video loads. Y'all take care and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.